All right, so we're ready to take our fondant. I'm going to moisten my cake a little bit so that my fondant has something to stick to. And then we're going to take it and put it over and smooth it out. Now again, because this is a pudding and we want it to look like it has different um, textures, I'm not gonna be too worried about getting it nice and smooth. And I'm even gonna actually ding my fondant up a little bit because I want it to look like it has raisins and stuff in it. So let me get it down here to the bottom. And see how this has kind of got chunks in it? It's because my fondant was a little dry and I didn't work all of it out. But I'm okay with that because to me, those, this area looks like it has stuff in it. All right, so we've got that done there. Let's cut the fondant off. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our texture to give it that look like it has different things in it. All right, so what I've got is I've got a tip here. And this is just a, what is this? I can't even see it. It looks like a 20 tip. You can see right there. And I'm just gonna kind of ding it up. Now I don't want it to be exact, so I'm going at it from the side. If I do it like that, I'm gonna get a perfect little circle, which I don't want. I want it from the side. So what I'm doing is I'm doing it just like this. And I'm not too worried about the top because I'm gonna have um, cream covering that. Our pouring cream is gonna cover that. So I'm just kind of dinging it up all the way around. There we go. And if they look too perfect, you can take other little tools and give yourself some more texture. If I feel like I'm seeing a little too much of the circular points, I'm gonna go in and just drag it, drag this tool around over them so that they don't look like I stuck a tip in there because we don't want people to know our secrets. There we go. And then that looks like a pudding, like there, see? So we're gonna go ahead and add some color to that to also bring it out, but for now, that's a good start. All right, so we've got it covered, we've got our kind of uneven areas, but I wanna give it a little bit more depth. So I've got a little vodka and a little brown uh, gel color, and I'm just gonna go in and kind of darken up some areas. And I'm not being exact. I'm just gonna go around and give it some depth. So see, I'm just taking some darker areas in where the raisins would be, and then just rubbing color kind of around the rest of it. We don't wanna make it too perfect because it's not perfect. There we go, a little bit more vodka. You know my motto, never enough, never too much vodka. Okay, there we go. Get some color in here, give it a little bit more depth. If you have an airbrush, you could do this with an airbrush. Um, but you can see I'm using like my worst brush because I don't want it to be even, I want it to be ragged. So I'm not taking great care with this. All right, almost done. Go all the way around, get some darks and lights. And you can see I'm actually not too worried about the top. As I said before, we're gonna be covering that with a layer of cream colored modeling chocolate because that's where our pour from our pitcher is going to be. So we don't really have to make sure that that is perfect. We're just worried about the part we're gonna be able to see. All right, so I like that. I think it's kind of 
looking just enough, dark enough for the pudding, but also has some darker and lighter areas to give it some life. And I think we're good. Okay, so we're gonna take this now. I'm gonna show you how to attach it to the platform board we've already prepared. And then we'll start with the rest. We'll start with our cream.